Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we have yet another declutter. Today is actually a really big one. We've got false eyelashes, mascaras, um, like liquid cream shadows, glitters, brow products, and liners of all sorts. It's going to be a doozy. So strap in, get yourselves a snack. A little disclaimer before we begin. Um, if you have not seen my other declutters in this series, I will link the playlist down below. This is my own personal declutter journey and lifestyle change. I'm not trying to get to a minimalist collection. I'm just trying to make sure that I genuinely love everything I have and it makes me excited to use it. I don't anticipate this to be like a cutthroat declutter. So if you're looking for that, I do recommend searching elsewhere. I know there are tons of cutthroat declutters on like YouTube. I have a couple on my channel um, that you can find on my declutter playlist. I just, you know, don't wanna get your hopes up about this one. Um, these are more so for my own mental walkthrough so I can look back on them and because my declutter was requested. So please just keep the comment section positive and remember there's no magic number that I'm trying to hit. This is a lifestyle change for me, not just me like dumping my whole collection. So having said that, let's go ahead and get started. So this does not include the, um, in my project pan bin that declutter will be its own separate thing um, or the products in my current makeup basket I've already gone through those I'm keeping those so let's take a look at eyeliners I think we're going to start with this little section here which is liquid creams and glitter eyeliners so I'm going to pull them all out really quick okay. so let's see what brings me joy in these goodies this Araceli um, Perfectos liner, honestly, I do really like this one. I am going to hang on to. This Girlactic liner, the Precision liner, I like that one too. This is the Araceli Brown Eyeliner, and I don't know. I just don't, like normally if I use a liquid liner, it's black. So this one I'm going to go ahead and pass along. The Balm Schwing, one of my favorites, definitely keeping that. Um, this Laura Geller Line and Define, it's a dual dimension liner. So you've got a liquid on this side and then you've got this like huge coal eyeliner on this side. This one, I don't really know how I feel about it, honestly. Um, it doesn't like get me really excited. So this one I'm going to go ahead and pass along. These NYX Vivid Brights, I do really like them. Um... I just, I don't know, I don't feel like I use them as often as I should. I'm not the biggest fan of like the applicator for these two. So these, see, I really like, like I like this one. This is the Vivid Violet one. I'm gonna pass along the Vivid Blossom. I'm gonna hang on to the Vivid Violet because I do like that one. It's this really beautiful dark, dark purple, but the light one can go. The Tarte Tartiste Double Take um, Eyeliner, this is actually the one that's also in my weekly makeup basket. I'm gonna keep that because I like it. The Beauty Bakery Lollipop Liner. This one is really nice. I'm going to keep this one. Illamasqua Liquid Eyeliner. I'm going to keep that one. This is the Mellow Precision Eyeliner. This one is starting to go a little like almost dry. This one I'm going to go ahead and pass along. The Tarte Sex Kitten Liquid Eyeliner. I freaking love this. Is this one starting to go dry though? Mm, no, I should. I, this one has a little bit of life left in it. I'm going to hang on to this. This is one of my favorite liquid liners. Um, this is the Ico. That's where I draw the line. This one is like super dried out. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. I have a brand new Mellow Precision Eyeliner. I'm going to keep that one. This is the Ciate Stamp and Drag. So it's got the eyeliner stamp and then the actual eyeliner itself. But the liner itself is super thick and I don't like this. Like I like it okay, but I'm going to go ahead and pass it along because it doesn't bring me a ton of joy. The Milani the Tank Eyeliner, this is relatively new to me and I'm actually really impressed with it. I'm going to keep that. Serafine Botanicals Lunar Liner, also really enjoying that. The Sugar, this is the Wingman Liner. I re <laughs> Man, I just give me like a really good opaque dark eyeliner and I'm here for it. The Il Maquillage Liner and then this one is the Girlactic Liner. I'm going to hang on to all of these because they all work great. Okay, I've got three Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liners, Starfire, Volume, and Midnight Cowboy. I love the concept of these. I've had these for so long. Um, this one, ooh, actually, that's pretty good. These start to dry out, though, and when they dry out, it's almost impossible to pick up product. And I don't know, I just... I just want more. Like, I love these. The collector mentality in me loves these. They do bring me so much joy, but I never use them. So I'm going to pass along all three of these. Okay, I've got four... 
Suva Beauty Hydra Liners. I honestly thought I was going to like these way more than I do. So this one is Grease. This is the black one. This one is probably the one that like obviously I'd use the most. I think I will hang on to this one. I just used Kiana Leaves um, in a weekly makeup basket and honestly like the green just was not nearly as vibrant as I expected it to be. So this one I'm going to pass along. I also have Backwas which is, I mean, it's pretty, but I just, I don't know. And then I also have Gold Digger. And these, I feel like the more color you get with these Hydra Liners, like the less they really come through. I don't know. I'm going to pass these along because I don't love them. I have a Stila. This is the Black Obsidian Ink. This one I actually really like. So I am going to hang on to this one. And then I have three of the ColourPop um, cream gel colors. This is Teaspoon, which is a beautiful dark green. This is the type of dark green I like. I've got Kicker, which is a silver. And then I've got Prance, which is a like baby blue. Um, I really want to like these, but when it comes to like cream gel liners like I just don't know when I would use them you know what I mean like I don't know when I use these shades so these two I'm going to get rid of I think I am going to keep kicker because I think this is just really cool and this one does get me pretty excited um so I'm going to keep this one because I do a lot of darker looks and I feel like that would be pretty cool with that but I'm going to pass both of these along okay going into pencil liners I don't even know like what the easiest way is Ah, to do this. Um, I have a ton of these ColourPop BFF cream gel liners. I've got so many of them and I don't know like I have not had good luck with these and I've heard everybody's told me that like they're the best liners ever and so I don't know like what my issue is with them. I just ugh, I don't know. I need to like think I really like having like nice colorful water lines so I do like having the color options and I will say the ColourPop BFF cream gel liners are probably the best that I found for like a good color variety. Um, I have grown to like them the more that I've used them, but like oh, above all, the formula is not my absolute favorite. So I am gonna hang on to them just because I haven't quite found anything else that has like the color selection that these have with how affordable these are. I just, I don't know, I don't love them. I have so many of them though. I bought the vault before I had ever tried any and I feel like that was like a big mistake of mine but I'm gonna keep all of the uh, ColourPop ones. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury, this is the uh, Rock and Coal li Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil. This one I'm keeping, that's such a great eye eyeliner. My Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-Ons, man, I'm definitely keeping all of the darker shades. I'm gonna keep Roach and then Black Market, all of my zeros, Perversion, Perversion, Crave, like these are my absolute favorite darker eyeliners. Perversion, I really like the Perversion shade, if you couldn't tell, so I'm gonna keep all of those. Um, the rest of them I think I'm gonna have to look through. There's another ColourPop one. Um, this is the Redial Smoky Eye Pen in brown. This one is, it's just a brown eyeliner. I don't know. I don't love the twist, at, like the sharpenable ones. This one, like I'm willing to deal with it with my Urban Decay ones because those are my absolute favorite, but I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along. This is the Sugar uh, Stroke of Genius Heavy Duty Coal. Honestly, I love this one. It's got like these little glitters in it, and even though I have to sharpen it, I definitely think it's worth it because it's beautiful. This is, oh, this is a brand new NYX white liner. I'm gonna keep that. I have a couple of the Tarte Sex Kitten pencil liners. Ugh, I gotta keep those. This is the Real Her I Am Amazing eyeliner in black. I'm not a big fan of the Real Her line, but this is a decent liner. Like, it's just a plain black liner. It's retractable. I do like that. The Dose of Colors Caviar Liner. I just used this for a look. I freaking love it. And this packaging is, like, the absolute coolest. So I'm going to keep that one. Uh, here's another ColourPop one. Tarte Man Eater. I don't know why, like, Tarte does such good eyeliners. This is, I have two of them. This is a self-sharpenable eyeliner. Amazing. I'm keeping them. I also have two Milk Longwear eyeliners. I've got one in a black shade, and then this one is, like, a dark-ass blue, but it's, like, super-duper dark. I'm gonna keep both of these because they're really good eyeliners. I feel like I'm getting rid of none. Okay, ColourPop keeping. Thank you. Um, I've got a bunch of different Urban Decay ones. Honestly, like I really just genuinely love the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Formula. And even these colored ones, 
they're like kind of darker colors and I think I'm gonna keep all of those. I'm terrible at this. The Sugar Rush Preppy, this is one of those like super duper precision ones. I've never been super into those. So this one I'm gonna go ahead and pass along. These Stila smudge sticks, I don't know why. Like they're always just, I don't know. This is like, these used to be so iconic and I've never understood them and I've tried them several times over the years. I'm gonna pass this one along. Milani Supreme Cole Kajal, this is a great liner. I'm gonna keep that one. Um, I've got a couple of the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pens. Honestly, these are also really great liners. These are in the shade Matte Mulberry, which is a really beautiful shade. I'm going to keep those. Ofra Black Liner Keeping. This is the Sleek Life Proof in Blackmail. Needs to be sharpened, but I love that stark black line. Um, Illamasqua Coloring Pencil in Honor. This one, I think I'm going to go ahead and pass along because it's just a plain, like kind of dullish brown. This is the NYX Faux Blacks in Midnight. This is like one of those super dark blues um, that's so dark it's almost black. I'm gonna keep that. The Balm Mr. Right, this is a great liner. I'm gonna keep that. Beauty For Real Eyeline 24-7 and Eye Carrot. This one I'm gonna pass along. It's just a bright ass gold and I'm not a big fan of gold eyeliner on my skin tone, so that's gonna go. This also, this is a Sistar in Bright Bronze. It's gonna go, it's just gonna go. Uh, Milani Stay Put Keep on Sapphire. I love these blues. I'm gonna keep this one. And then I also have the Hard on Plum, which is a purple. I'm gonna keep that one too. The Laura Geller Ink Credible Gel Eyeliner Pencil in Teal Waters. Like, how do you deny that? I'm gonna keep that one. And then this is the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner, but it's in like a beautiful purple shade. It is unopened. I'm gonna hang on to this one because I feel like my sweet spot is blue and purple and black eyeliners. Like obviously that's what I have most of. Um, and I feel like that's good for me, you know? I've got a few different colors here and there, but for the most part, that was loud. For the most part, that's what we're working with. We're gonna do brows next. The brow pomades and like fibers and things like that. I have the Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit. Obviously, if you've been watching my channel, you've seen this before. It's iconic here. Um, I'm gonna pass this along. I've, I've gotten enough use out of it, I think. I'm honestly tired of it and it's time for it to go. Live a new life. This is the iconic London Sculpt and Boost um, Eyebrow Cushion. This is actually really interesting to me. This came in a boxy charm. Um, I do enjoy it though. Definitely brings me some joy. So I'm gonna end up keeping that one. This is the Mellow Brow Pomade in Chocolate. I don't know, you guys. I just, this packaging, I can't get over that. This one I'm gonna pass along. This is the Elf Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in Medium Brown. Um, this one is okay. I've used it quite a bit. Uh, it's a pretty good shade match for me. I think this one I'm gonna hang on to. I've got the Milani Stay Put Brow Color. This one's getting a bit dried out, so this one I'm gonna pass along. Um, the Morphe Brow Cream in Java is also pretty good. I'm not a big like brow pomade person. I also have the KVD um, Beauty 24 Hour Super Brow in Dark Brown, and then I have the Tarte Big Ego which uh, I feel like, I don't know. Like, I don't think I need four because I'm not a big pomade person, but like, I really like the Morphe. I really like the KVD Beauty. And I've only used this once and it didn't really work out for me, but I really want to use it a little bit more. So I think my e.l.f. one is my oldest one. And I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this one on. I'm gonna keep these three. Okay, so then we've got a couple of brow powders. This is the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Ebony, and then I also have the Natasha Denona Eyebrow Shadow in Dark Brown. These, um, I've been very interested in. I have not gotten a chance to play around with them a whole lot, so I'm gonna keep both of them because I'm pretty intrigued by them. Okay, then we've got these. This is the CoverGirl Brow and Liner Powder. This one I actually have used several times. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I'm going to pass this along. This is the Tarte Busy Gal Brows. I don't know, it just doesn't spark joy. It's gonna go. This is the La Beauty Fatale Brow Fix Tint and Shaper. This wand gives me anxiety. I'm going to pass this one along. And then the last one is the Soap and Glory Archery Volume Boost Brow Fiber Gel. This one I think I'd have the best luck with, but it's very like thick and liquidy and I don't know. 
I'm not a big fan of like the brow pomade gels that have like a tint to them. So I'm just going to pass along both of those. Okay, everything else in my brow drawer. I've got some stencils. I'm going to keep those because I feel like they're just useful. Although, do I need all of them? I feel like I should. I'm going to keep those. Okay. I'm going to keep my little brushes because I only have a couple and I do actually use them. Let us see here. This is, I don't even know what this is because the name is scratched off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pass on that because I have genuinely no idea what it is. This is the ColourPop Brow Boss. I'm going to hang on to this one. That one was pretty good. I have two of the Tarte Arch Architects and I think that these are okay. Um, I feel like the tips are a little bit larger than I would like and then the other side has brow gel. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the packaging. They just don't make me excited. Both of these are going to go. Urban Decay Brow Blade, uh, I'm keeping. This is so good. It has the ink stain on one side, and then it's got the pencil on the other side, and I love this. Totally keeping it. This is the Winky Lux Unibrow. It's a universal brow pencil. I just got this. Have not used it yet. Definitely want to give it a try. Plan on keeping that for now. Um, the Morphe Brow Pencil, I'm keeping. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Pencil, I'm keeping. The Il Maquillage Brow Pen. This one I haven't tried yet and I want to, so I'm going to hang on to that. A Cosmetics Brow Power. I really like this brow pencil. I'm keeping it. The Oh, this is the UOMA Baby Hair. I'm keeping that. I have two of the Real Her I Am Strong Brow Pencils. I can't remember what I think about these, but I feel like these were like the thing that I was like, oh yeah, okay. So I'm not, because I'm not a big fan of like Real Her. But if I remember correctly, I did like these. I'm gonna keep these because they're brow pencils. Like, I like this form of brow pencil the best. Um, this is the Scone Brow Wand. Honestly, it's very dry and it's a little bit hard to use. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one on. This is the Delilah Brow Groom, which I used this a couple of times. It's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to this one. The Billion Dollar Brows was pleasantly surprised by this. I'm gonna keep this. The Urban Decay Brow Beater, I like, except for this damn cap, because it always pulls this whole thing with a spoolie off. I love it, but it's annoying. Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, always good to have my favorite clear brow gel, so I'm keeping that. Billion Dollar Brows Brow Gel, and then the Wander Beauty Frame Your Face Brow Gel. These are both clear. I'm just going to keep them because um, clear brow gel is clear brow gel, well. Okay, this Billion Dollar Brow Brow Duo Pencil I have used. I did like. I don't like double-ended pencils. Like, if we're being honest about it, if we're really going to get into, like, the nitty-gritty here, I don't love that. I'm going to pass this one on. Um, but I do also have, this is a Brow Duo Pencil from Million Dollar Brows, but it is, like, a retractable one instead of a sharpenable one. So you've got the concealer on one side, the highlight on the other. This one I am going to hang on to. And then I have a Morphe, like, brow kind of highlight stick. I'm going to hang on to this one, too, I think. Now we're going to look at my um, cream shadows pigments, glitters, things like that. So the biggest thing for me for this is remembering that like I love these Stila ones, but, like I don't have to have every color in the collection. This is stuff I'm either gonna use as like one shadow looks or as a topper or something, and I need to keep that in mind and think about that as it is. So I've got some Stila Shimmer and Glows. This is Vivid Smoky Quartz. It's beautiful, like it's so pretty, but like genuinely, how often am I going to wear that? Like, does that shade bring me joy? Actually, yes, I do like that shade a lot. I'm going to keep that one. Um, I also have La Duce. That is seriously... Okay. I'm going to keep that one because it's beautiful. This is also Vivid Smoky Quartz. So I have two of those. I don't know why. This one feels a little, like, wetter. Like, this feels drier, so I'm going to go ahead and pass the drier one along. I have Vivid Labradite. I actually really like that one, and while I probably wouldn't wear it a whole lot, it speaks to me, and I'm going to keep that one. Then I have Vivid Garnet, which is just one of the best things I've ever seen, so I'm going to keep that. Okay. That sucks. They'll be like, that is such a shitty start. Um, the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. <laughs> I got rid of a bunch of these previously, and they were like the shades that I wouldn't normally like reach for. This one is Enchantress and I love it. This one is Karma Kitten and I love it. 
Although if it helps, like I think I'm going to get rid of a lot of the other ones. This is Smoky Storm and it's like just pure glitter, man. This one is feeling a little bit dry. I'm going to go ahead and pass it along. It doesn't make my heart beat fast. This is Sunset Cove. Could you just die? I'm keeping that one. This one is Opal Ice. Okay, got to keep that one. This one is Rose Gold Retro. See, and I, I think I, when I got rid of um, a bunch of these originally, I kept like all of the pretty ones that I could layer on things. This one is Kitten. I love this shade, but this one is starting to get really dry, so I'm gonna pass this one along. Oh, and then last, Stila, this is Lilac Ice, which is pretty, but also starting to get a little dry. So that one's gonna go. Okay, I've got some Too Faced. Um, this is the Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. I think these are so beautiful. Um, so I've got Lemon Zest which is gorgeous, such a unique shade. I love like the yellow glitter. I'm gonna keep that one. This one is Strawberries and Champagne. This one is really similar to some of the Stila ones, but I feel like it's almost redder. I'm gonna keep that one because it makes me happy. This one is Ice Queen, which I purchased because my Stila one um, dried up. So like maybe I should have taken that as a sign. I'm gonna keep that one though. And this one is licorice. This one I think is probably one of my favorites because it's just so dark. Keeping that one. Okay. This is the e.l.f. Um, this is the Disco Queen one. So this one was okay. It's a very small applicator and it's literally just like straight up glitter. I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on. Not my favorite. This is a Pixie by Petra Liquid Fairy Lights in Sunray. Honestly, it's pretty, but I could live without it. It just doesn't spark a bunch of joy. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one along. I have a couple of the Nude Sticks Magnetic Luminous Eye Colors. This is in Cote d'Azur. It's pretty, but it's like a matte dark blue. I guess there's a little bit of shimmer in there. This is the Magnetic Luminous Eye Color in Sunrise Star. I don't know. They're just kind of boring shades to me. I think I'm gonna pass both of these along. I'm back to these Beauty For Real shades, and honestly, I feel like because I don't know, that tells me what I need to know. So these are gonna go. The Smith & Colt Glitter Baby Metallic Shift Eyeshadow. Meh. It can go. Touch & Soul Liquid Glitter Toppers for the Romantic Rose Look. These were sent in PR, and they are very pretty, but the wands are so tiny, and I like the ones to be a little bit bigger than they are in these. So I'm going to pass this along. Okay, I have these three cream eyeshadows from Nature's Cartel. Um, this one is Champagne Scandal. Obviously, this is probably my favorite. I actually do really like this one. The other two, however, this one is Tan Line from Tahiti, which is okay, but I have this on a couple of other things. I probably could live without this one, so this one I'm going to go ahead and pass along. And then this one is 90s Nude. I really do like the um, this shade now that I'm looking at it. That's really pretty. So I think I'm gonna keep both of these because I do like the formula of these. They're really great. This is the Flesh, Flesh Pot Eye and Cheek Gloss. I love this like in theory, but it's legitimately like a gloss. I don't know, it just, mm, I'm torn on this. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along. This is the Lime Crime Diamond Dew in Aurora. I cannot stand the packaging of this. It always drives me crazy. It is very beautiful, but it has like kind of chunky glitter in it. So I think I'm going to pass this one along. Smith & Colt Glitter Shot All Over Glitter Crush. Very beautiful, but obviously like super duper chunky glitter. I'm gonna pass this one along. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Marie Antoinette. I freaking love this one. This one I will be keeping. And then I have the Lorac. Um, this is a cream eyeshadow in the shade Lace. This is beautiful, definitely, definitely gonna keep this one. And then I have two of the Milk Makeup Pigments. I have Hotel Lobby and After Party. Honestly, these are so pretty too. Um, the Milk Makeup Pigments were on my wish list for like a really long time and I ended up getting these two shades. I think I may have had a third one, I'm not 100% sure, but I am gonna keep these because I really like these the two shades of those. Okay, so now we are going to talk about like pigments and glitters and things like that. I have like this whole little holiday set of the Anastasia Beverly Hills loose glitters. I have used these. They're honestly like, they are really pretty. Whoa, that was a ridiculous amount. That was way too much. But they're like these holographic, 
um, color shifting glitters. I really, really do like these. Biggest into like loose glitters, but if I was going to wear them, it'd definitely be this set. So I'm going to keep those. We might as well go ahead and just do the rest of the glitters because I totally did not realize that's what that was. I also have um, a whole set of NYX glitters. Honestly, these, I don't know, man. Like they're pretty, but they're just kind of plain glitter. And I've had these forever and I literally have not used any of them. So I'm thinking it's probably just time to let them go. So I'm gonna get rid of all of my NYX glitters. And then I also have two of the ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed. This is Outside the Lines. And then I have one from the Bretman Rock collection. And this is just like a gel glitter, which is pretty cool. It is chunkier glitter, um, but it is kind of fun to work with. Uh, and since I'm only keeping the Anastasia Beverly Hills glitters, I think I am going to hang on to this one because I do really like this one. And then this one in She Lit is gorgeous. So these two I'm going to hang on to. Oh, and then I've got um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills glitter adhesive and then NYX glitter primer. I'm going to keep the Anastasia one. I'm going to get rid of the NYX one. Okay, so now we talk about pigments. Um, I have a NYX pigment. This is 06. I have no idea what shade this is. Oh, this is Stunner. Um, this is okay. Like, I have this shade in a bunch of eyeshadows, and I never reach for this, so I'm going to pass this one along. I have a couple of the Ciate London. These are the Marbled Metals glitters. I love these. They have this, like... Thing, like those L'Oreal infallible shadows used to have these are so freaking pretty um, I am gonna keep both of these I have the shade in twine which is a nude and then wicked which is much darker and I do really like these I'm gonna keep those then I've got this is a Tarte chrome paint shadow pot in unleashed which it's like a loose powder but it is absolutely stunning. I just spilled it all over my pink. I am going to keep this one though. And then I have two other ones um, in Martini and Park F Princess. These I'm going to keep as well because they are beautiful. Uh, I have a Naked Cosmetics pigment in Naturally Nude. Honestly, I've had this for so long and it's not even open, so I'm going to pass this one along. Okay, I have the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights Astrology pigment collection. Here's the thing. I really don't know because I'm not like a big pigment person and I feel like the pigments that I've kept are probably the ones that I'll use more often. I just find pigments and most loose shadows to be like super messy. I like these because the packaging is um, like a little bit wider. I like the packaging of these. It makes it a little bit easier to use. This type of packaging, I just feel like it's, it's messy because you have to dump it into the lid. I do like these. I'm just wondering like if I love them or not. I also have a regular ColourPop one. This is in a red zone. This is beautiful. Honestly, I think I'm going to keep this one because it's gorgeous. And then I have two Anastasia Beverly Hills loose pigments. I've got Sand and Crystal, which are both neutral shades, and they are both gorgeous. So I think I'm going to keep these as well. Honestly, I really do enjoy these. So I think I am going to hang on to these pigments because they do bring me joy, and that is the whole point. I might get rid of them in the future. I don't know yet. We are going to move into mascaras. Um, really up front, I'm probably gonna keep most of these because I like to switch out my mascaras every three months. Um, so I like to have a nice little stash to pick from. There are a couple though that I'm definitely gonna get rid of. The Tristique Good Vibes Mascara. I hate this mascara. I hate the packaging of it. It's got like an eyelash curler like built in. I can't stand it. So this is going to definitely go. I really wanna try this one. I really wanna try this one. I want to try the Beauty For Real one because I'm, I'm intrigued by it. Love this mascara. Love this one. Want to try this one. I've been dying to try Big Ego and I happen to have two. I'm going to try that one. I'm going to pass along the Ulta Beauty Ultimate Lashes just because, um, I don't know. I feel like I probably don't need that one and it just doesn't excite me. And I'm going to keep the rest of them. So these I'm going to keep. Although, you know what? I'm going to pass along the Beauty For Real one too because it just doesn't bring me the same excitement as everything else does. I'm gonna pass this one along. I'm gonna keep these mascaras. Okay, great. And then last but not least, we have lashes. Now, I don't wear lashes very often. This is the last section to this video of like all of my random eye stuff. My next video is going to be my eyeshadow palettes, which I'm pretty excited about seeing how well I can do with those. But uh, for this particular situation, we've got eyelashes. I don't wear eyelashes very often. 
um, hardly honestly ever but every once in a while I like to wear them it's nice to have them for when I do want to try them out I have a couple of glues I have an Ardell lash tight clear adhesive and then a duo um, clear white adhesive I think I am gonna keep both of these actually I'm going to pass along the Ardell because it doesn't have any type of applicator or anything and that stresses me out I'm gonna keep the duo and then I just picked up this this kiss lash glue liner because um, I've tried the magnetic lashes and they work pretty well for me so I figured I'd go ahead and give this a shot so I'm going to keep this and now let's talk about lashes. I'm trying to figure out like the easiest way to get these all in the frame. Okay, I have this big ass set of Ardell All the Wispies. I am gonna hang on to this because this is just a nice set of a variety of different lashes so that I'm going to keep. These Ilor and Thalia Girl Boss ones look stunning. I'm gonna keep these. And then the Huda Beauty uh, Samantha lashes are be beautiful, so I'm gonna keep those. These Ardell Naked lashes, I don't know, there's just something about them that like, doesn't excite me. So these I'm going to go ahead and pass along. I'm going to keep these Tarte, uh, Tarteiste Pro Wifey lashes. They just look really interesting to me. These Lily lashes, I don't know, they almost look like a cheaper version of the Tarte ones to me. So these I'm going to go ahead and pass along. These Eyelore Exaggerate, I think I'm going to hang on to because these are pre-glued and I'm interested in trying that out. And then I think I'm going to keep the rest of these because I like these little variety packs. They are very convenient. And this Eyelore London and Jasmine Brown JB Dramatic Lash just looks really interesting. So I think I'm going to keep those too. Okay, so final tally, I am getting rid of 70 things from these drawers. This honestly like does not even look like 70 things to me, but I counted it. It is 70. So I'm getting rid of 70 things from this drawer. I feel so great about that. It's just kind of a bunch of like random miscellaneous stuff um, that I just, I don't know. It just doesn't excite me anymore. You know what I mean? So that is the video for today. Like I said, the next declutter video is going to be my eyeshadow palette declutter. So make sure you are subscribed if you're interested in seeing that because that will be coming soon. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys next time. Have a great one. Bye.